Hello and welcome to this video demonstrating how to debug Tekton pipelines inside Jenkins X. So I've already created a Jenkins X quick start, in this case it's a Node.js application. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a new branch and I'm going to submit a pull request that changes this project. So I'm going to do git checkout minus b um, thingy. Uh, and I'm going to make a little change to the home page. Hey, awesome preview. So I've made a little change to the uh, home page. I'm going to say uh, fix home page. Okay, so I'm going to do a little commit. There we go. Um, now I'm also going to make a change to the pipeline. Now the pipeline exists in here. This is the pull request pipeline. So this is the Tekton pipeline, which is invoked whenever we create a pull request to validate a change and deploy a preview and all those kind of things. Now you notice we're using this uses syntax to inherit the actual detail of the Tekton steps from our uh, catalog. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna override one of the steps so that we can purposely change the pipeline. And I'm gonna break it on purpose to demonstrate how to fix issues. Uh, so if I do pipeline override minus p script, we're going to override the script property, in this case, in the pull request pipeline. Uh, and we're going to change the npm install uh, step. And what this is going to do is it's going to inline the script step from our catalog, which lets us edit it locally without having to kind of copy and paste everywhere. Um, and then we're going to make a change locally. Um, and then that local change we're going to break. So there we go. This is so we've inlined this step from the catalog. So this step in the catalog is just a simple npm install, um, and I'm going to purposely break that. So I'm going to say echo breaking things on purpose. So I'm going to type npm does not exist. So I'm going to pretend I'm changing the pipeline for the better and break it on purpose. Um, so if we commit that. Uh, I'm going to say fix, try improve the pipeline. Um, okay, and then we're going to create a pull request. Ooh, hang on, let me uh, turn off code analysis. Bless you. I'm get, now going to get IntelliJ to create a pull request. I'm going to say improve the pipeline. Create pull request. And we've created the pull request. So uh, we've created the pull request. That's all great. Uh, now let me show you the pull request pipeline running. So I'm using a tool called Lens, which is a, a tool that runs on your laptop and lets you visualize your Kubernetes cluster. So I can look at, for example, all the pods that are running in my cluster right now and so forth. Lens has a plugin for Jenkins X, which if I open the plugin, we'll see we have a um, a way of visualizing all the pipelines in Jenkins X. And we can see the pipeline um, that we just ran fail. Um, so there's the pipeline. And if I look at the log, um, we look at the logs of the npm install step, we'll see this command I did, breaking things on purpose. And I tried to run uh, the command npm does not exist and it failed because um, the command doesn't exist. So I purposely broke the pipeline. OK, now what happens if I want to like debug this um, pipeline and figure out why did this step st uh, fail? So what I can do is I can uh, toggle a breakpoint. So I could say, let's add a breakpoint uh, for this pipeline. Yes. So we've now enabled breakpoints in Tekton. Uh, so now if I modify the pipeline again and do another commit, so if I do that and I do another commit, and if I do a commit and a push, I'll push that into my pull request branch. There we go. Uh, I'm going to filter this view by just the node example pipeline, so it's a bit easier. So we should see another pipeline build start in a second. And there we go. There's the pipeline running. So if you watch this pipeline running in Lens, we'll see it's going to clone the Git repository fairly soon. It's going to run the first couple of steps. Um, and then it's going to fail again. Um, but this time, because I've enabled debugging, Tekton is going to keep the pod running so that we can then go inside the pod and see what's going on. 
So if I look at the logs of the NPM install step, we'll see, yeah, it's failed. So the NPM install step has failed as before. Fine, that's good. But notice the pipeline's still running. It's not failed yet. It's not terminated. The pipeline has basically paused where it's failed. So if I open the shell command, I can open the shell into the last uh, container step. So this should open the terminal. There we go. So we've got a terminal now inside the pod that's running the pipeline. So if I do a list, I can see here's all the source code uh, to the to the uh, quick start. There's the if I cat the index.html, we'll see this is the source code for the preview. So we're inside the pipeline. And so we previously ran uh, npm doesn't exist, um, but now we can run a different command if you wish. So now we can run npm install for real. So use the correct command. So we've done the npm install, that will work great. So we figured out the command we should have typed so we can now go back and make this change in our, in our pipeline. So we figured out, ah, the command I meant to type was npm install. So that's going to be the next uh, version we try. Uh, so now how do we kind of carry on running this pipeline? So there's a little command we can just run to continue the pipeline. Um, and this will basically continue running the pipeline. So this step is now completed. It's now running the npm test step. And now it's building the container and so on and so forth. So now it's going to keep running the entire pipeline and eventually we'll get a preview. So if I view the logs for uh, the latest step, we'll see uh, it's building the container. Um, that's almost finished. Now it's going to do the promote. And the preview should be there really soon. There we go. So the preview is completed. So if I now... Um, view the preview, we can see here's the preview environment running. Hey, awesome preview. So we've now fixed the pipeline, the pipeline continued, and we've deployed the preview environment, and it's all working great. Awesome. If we view the repository, here's the repository, and if you look at the pull request, we'll also see this pipeline we triggered, here it is, and we've got the preview here as well. So we've created the pipeline, the pipeline's green, and we've got the preview environment running. Awesome. So that's how to debug pipelines. Um, now the pipeline's all working, we can now get rid of the breakpoint. Let's remove the breakpoint. Awesome. We smashed it.